Hey boys and girls, it's Pastor Jonathan. I'm here to do another midweek devotion with you guys. And uh, this week and the last few weeks, we've been talking about the disciples and how God and Jesus gave the disciples a mission that felt like it was impossible. Jesus told the disciples to go out into all the world and spread the good news. That means spread the news about Jesus dying on the cross for our sins and uh, that they can accept Jesus into their heart and that they'll be saved and be able to go to heaven and that uh, and to baptize other people. And that's what Jesus was telling the disciples to do, to go out to all the world. And that may seem like it's kind of easy for us because we have, well, we have the internet, we have a whole bunch of things and a whole bunch of tools that we can use. But back then, they didn't have cell phones, they didn't have TVs, they didn't have computers. So to all the disciples, it felt like it was pretty much impossible. And some people, um, even me, even feel like when things are impossible, I just get discouraged, I get frustrated, I get uh, confused even. And so the disciples may have felt like things were difficult, but then God gave them a gift. And once God gave them the gift of the Holy Spirit, soon after Peter started uh, speaking, he spoke to a big crowd and 3,000 people were saved. And so that brings us into this week's story and this week's lesson. So go ahead and watch this story. More than 3,000. More than 3,000 people are following Jesus now. I've never seen anything like it. The way people are sharing their homes, their food. Every day a few more people believe. This tell the whole world gig is going more smoothly than I expected. Please help me. Could I have a few coins for food? Look at us. I don't have silver or gold, but I'll give you what I do have. In the name of Jesus, get up and walk. Wait, what? How? Praise Jesus. This guy couldn't even walk 10 minutes ago. Fellow Israelites, why does this surprise you? It's not as if we've made this man walk by our own power or godliness. God has done this. God has brought glory to Jesus who serves him. This man, whom you see and know, was made strong because of faith in Jesus' name. Faith in Jesus has healed him completely. Wowzers! So turn away from your sins and turn to God then your sins will be wiped away. Preach it to the rats, boys. What's that you said about things going smoothly? God's Holy Spirit is still with us, even here. By what power did you do this? And through whose name? Rulers and elders, do you want to know why we were kind to a man who couldn't walk? Are you asking how he was healed? You nailed Jesus Christ of Nazareth to the cross, but God raised him from the dead. It is through Jesus' name that this man stands healed. You can't be saved by believing in anyone else. Leave now and never come back until we call for you. The nerve, these are common men with no training. So bold. I hate to say it, but- Say what? Well, the way they talk. You can tell they've been with Jesus. <laughs> but what can we do with them? Everyone in Jerusalem knows they performed a miracle. We can't say it didn't happen. This stops here. It stops now. We give them a warning. Never speak to anyone in Jesus' name again. Ah, yes, that's it. You must never speak to anyone in Jesus' name again. Yes, or, or, or else. Which is right from God's point of view? Should we listen to you? Or should we listen to God? You be the judges. There's nothing else we can do. We have to speak about the things we've seen and heard. Ooh, just don't do it. Yes, exploding fist bumps, my bros. Well, boys and girls, things didn't quite go as planned. 
right? As we see, Peter and John were uh, thinking things are going smoothly, like, like that they were thinking and seeing God was doing awesome things. And they were healing people. When people got wind or saw that they were healing people, they were in shock right and they said Jesus it's because of Jesus's power it's not through our own power and so after that they were arrested can you believe it now if any of us were arrested because of something like this wouldn't we think this is ridiculous this is crazy I can't believe it some of us would even be so discouraged that we would just give up I know I would be discouraged. I, I would be like, what in the world is going on? But boys and girls, just because God has given us a mission, just because things happen that aren't right or things, the bad things happen to good people, just because that happens doesn't mean that we should give up. Peter and John didn't. We look back and we see that they were even asked to not, they were told not to tell people that it's because of Jesus. They were told that, that they couldn't proclaim Jesus Christ as Savior. And they decided to look at uh, everybody and say, hey, we're gonna follow God. We're gonna do what God wants us to do. Which one's right? Following God or just doing whatever you guys say? I'd say following God should be the way to go. So boys and girls, uh, that is what we have talked about on Sunday and what just a refresher through our Bible story so that you are encouraged to never give up. If you get anything out of today, if you get anything out of this week, it is to keep going even when things get tough. Boys and girls, all you got to do is keep going. And I'll tell you, the devil has plans for us to fail. And he wants us to be discouraged. And he wants us to fail. But boys and girl, girls, God doesn't uh, give us a mission. God doesn't put us in a situation for us to fail. He wants us to succeed and to never give up. So boys and girls, Never give up. Keep going. And I will see you guys on Sunday.